Hello there and welcome to a new let's play of mine. Let's play... Wait, Eric, are you serious? Magical Diary? A social simulator? <laughs> yeah, as a, as a let's player I am a real people person. Not antisocial at all, so I wanted to show off my social engineering skills. And why not make it... Magical Diary, Horse Hall. Ah. Okay, let's check out the options menu. Okay, we have, yeah, I um, adjusted music and effects already. Be or for some reason, effects um, affect the music for some, yeah. And, ah, oh, text speed, you could go up a little bit, I think. Playing in full screen to get the full experience of this game. Yeah. Yeah, that should be about right. Okay, I have never clicked this button. Let's click this button. New game. Can I can I play a guy? Okay, I guess I brought this on myself, huh? Okay, that um, hair color is uh, abysmal. <laughs> well, if that's your hair color, uh, no, I mean, no offense, but. I do not like a turquoise or a cyan hair color. What's... Color zero. What do we have here? Okay, let's not make her a gin. Oh god. I almost have to go with this green. No, can't do that. There we are, back in the blues. Okay, you're gonna have violet hair. Oh my... Well... Oh, this looks kind of cute. That's about right. Face. One... Oh, that's a big eye. Hmm, cheeky. I'm gonna give you this friendly face eye color. Is that change? Yeah, that's changing. Okay. Pink, red, green. Uh, well, I would say that's about my eye color, but not really because I have slightly less large pupils. But ah, uh, well, wait, she doesn't even have pupils. She just has has her thingy right there. I'm not a native English speaker. I don't know what that is called. I'm sorry. Oh, buddy, buddy, look at that body. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's make her. Let's have her this have this skin tone. Nope. Let's go with a skinny version. Okay. Let's name her Mary. <laughs> yeah, right. You are. I want to name you. Can I name you? Oh my God. Uh, what are we gonna name this beauty? Hmm. Let's name her Claire. <laughs> I'm bad with the names. Claire. Um. Whatever. I can't think of something better. Oh, I could have na randomized her. Well, this is our character, Claire Leroy. 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 <laughs> it all started about three years ago, on my thirteenth birthday. A birthday. I was play uh, was playing tag in the back garden with my friends, but when I tried to jump out of the ra out of the way of the girl who was chasing me, I jumped so high that I flew all the way over the hedge. At first I couldn't believe it was real. No one else could either. Within a few minutes they'd all convinced themselves that nothing unusual had happened. Then the next day a strange old woman showed up at my doorstep to offer me the choice of my future. And now here I am, 16, on my way to Iris Academy an actual school for magic. 
The school lies in a hidden valley in the Green Mountains, about 150 miles from my home in Hampshire. My parents drove me out here, but we've already said our goodbyes. I asked them to drop me off at the outskirts of the school ground so I could walk the rest of the way on my own. I knew Dad would cry and make a fuss over me before letting me go, and I didn't want my new classmates to see me for the first time looking like that. Actually, I'm surprised Dad agreed. He's always been li a little overprotective. Maybe he's finally recognizing that I'm not a little kid anymore. Anyway, it means I have to carry my own suitcases, which contain all that I have to maim. All that I have to my name for the next nine months. Oh, she got pregnant. Sorry. Not many clothes, but we'll be wearing school uniforms at the time. But I have some books, pictures of my friends and family, and decorations for my new room. I hope she doesn't make me decorate her room. There it is, up ahead! The campus looks more like a very posh boarding school than a home for wizards and witches. Pretty buildings, lots of trees and wide open spaces. Summer is still lingering here, the leaves haven't yet started to turn. I walk a little faster, feeling slightly too warm in this long robe and cape. Flower beds and arches stretch out around me, so many doors and windows and they all look the same. There are three residential halls for girls and three for boys. I've been accepted to Horse Hall, which is for adventurous girls, whatever that means. The other two girls, girl halls are the butterflies, who are probably girly girls, and the snakes. I'm not sure who would want to be a snake. I'd much rather be a horse. Unfortunately, I'm not sure exactly where Horse Hall is. I have a letter about freshman orientation. Where did I put it? I looked down at my suitcase while I walked, trying to remember which pocket I stuck the letter into. When suddenly... <laughs> I bump into someone. Oh god, I watch Naruto, I know what this face looks like. Oops, sorry. He's an older man in school robes with no hall symbol on them. On them which means he's probably a professor. This is not a good first impression. Impression. Sorry, sir. A new student, I see. And what might your name be? He has a lovely... <laughs> Dark and rich with refined British accent. Well, didn't get the British accent right, did I? And he doesn't seem to be too angry with me. I relax a little. Claire Lerot, sir. I just got here and I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be. My voice, voice trails off as I notice he's no longer looking at me. Instead, he's paging through the large book he was carrying. Yep. Miss Lerot, is it? Wild seed. How unsurprising. Wild? <laughs> More than likely a complete waste of my time. You have no idea how much you've been given and you will throw it all away. He scribbles something into the book, then slams it shut. <laughs> Ten demerits! Not a promising start. Oh. Demerits, I guess. Pay more attention to your studies than you do to where you are walking, Miss Lerot, or you'll find yourself expelled from this academy before the new, ye new year. Oh no, please don't tell me I can fail this game. With a snap of his wrist, he wraps his cape around him and stalks away. I haven't even started school yet and already one of my teachers hates me. Also, one thing. Since the protagonist is a girl and she's the protagonist, I would give her a girly voice but she's gonna say a lot, so I'm gonna give her my normal voice and all the other girls I'm gonna, well, have them have my completely shitty girly voice, but I'm not the main character because that's gonna kill my throat. Yeah. After a bit of looking around, I found the way into the girls' dorm dormitories and located my hall. 
There are nine doors in this hall, only one of which is labeled bathroom. If each bedroom has at least two girls in it, I hope that's a big bathroom. My own letter informed me I would have two roommates, but didn't tell me their names or anything else about them. I haven't seen anyone wearing a horse insignia. All I can do is find my room and wait for them to show up. Here is it. Room 3. I open the door and pick up my suitcases. Originally only was one suitcase. Well, Walking inside I find a fairly ordinary looking bedroom. No skulls or debris candles or black light posters on the walls and no incense or crystals anywhere. Unless they just haven't had time to unpack yet. Da da da. A girl who had been sitting on uh, one of the beds stands up. Well, um, hello? You're a horse! Well, your observation skill it does not appear to be very good. She wears a horse medal though on her. Well, belly. I didn't mean that when I didn't mean that. Oh God, that's I'm. I am that. <laughs> she looks so embarrassed. I didn't mean that the way it sounded. Hi, I'm Clear. Are you my roommate? One of them. I'm Ellen. That's Virginia's bed, but she went out to talk to somebody. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? Virginia, the state. I mean. I'm not sure where Virginia the girl's from. I tilt my head. Hmm? You don't have much of a southern accent. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, she doesn't because I, de I don't have one. That's not that far south. And my family wasn't from there. What about you? Hmm. <laughs> New Hampshire. Not too far from here. Are, you are those books yours? Those. Yeah. There aren't any computers here, so I brought my old encyc encyclopedias. And those are textbooks for the classes I would be taking this year at my other school, if I hadn't left. You must be a really good student. Not really. I probably won't even open them. But I didn't know what I need, sir, and I didn't want to need something I'd, and not have it. Those books are everything I could find out about magic, the real kind, now that I know it's real. Yeah, isn't it great? We're going to be witches, just like in the movies. Real witches. And you know what they say about witches, right? <clears throat> oh good, you're a wild seed too. What does wild seed mean? Means your parents weren't magic, so you're like a wildflower. No. No. That voice doesn't suit Dreadlock Medusa over there. Hm. Ugh. I'm not one for voices. I'm gonna I'm gonna um, forget who has what voice anyway. So let's not give her a special voice. It means your parents weren't here. Yeah. She holds out her hand for me to shake. Me, my family are, uh, my family's all magic. So I always knew I'd be a witch. I'm Virginia. She has a pretty strong grip. Claire. Pleasure to meet you. Is it problem, is it a problem being wild? I mean, I, I met a professor and he was sort of rude about it. A professor? Shaggy black hair, big nose. Yeah, I sort of bumped into him. Oh no, now you'll be on Grabby's blacklist. The professor grabs girls. Nope, that's his name. Professor Grabiner. Grabiner. I'm I'm glad I named my girl Little Rod and not Grabin Grabin. Grabiner, okay. He hates me. He hates everybody, so it doesn't make much difference. Don't worry about it. Nobody cares if you're a born witch or not, not really. And everybody's scared of Grabby. He's a monster. William warned me about him. 
and his charming British accent. And his deep voice. Who's William? My big brother. Bigger brother. He's a senior. Donald's a freshman, like us. They are in Willfall. But enough about boys. What sports do you play? What do you like? I like softball. Oh, I like softball, but I'm better at volleyball. Ah, good strong arms. Me, I prefer soccer. What about you, Claire? Um, I guess I'm mostly best at track. I like to run. Your legs, her arms, and my fighting spirit. We are the total package. Go, horses! Are there sports teams for wizards here? Not exactly. There are bounders, and that's not a real sport. But uh, there is a gym, and we can start out our sports teams if we have to. Right, Claire? I guess... Sorry, sorry. I'm rolling you over, aren't I? I'll let you unpack. Come on, Ellen. I'll introduce you to my brothers. Uh, okay... Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Let's leave my shit on the bed and not unpack it. I want to meet them too. The only wizard I've met so far is that horrible professor. I can unpack later. <laughs> I hate unpacking too. I made my mom do it. Shall we? Um. Do you still want me to come? Why wouldn't I? Come on. Virginia leads us unerringly through the maze of school hallways to one of the boys' sections. Need a hand, ladies? Nope, I'm just looking for... <laughs> Suddenly a water balloon flies out of an open door and smacks into the side of Virginia's head. Donald! Yes! Perfect shot! The two boys exchange high fives. That is my brother Donald, the complete dork. You are going to be in so much trouble. He really does not look like a senior, if you ask me. She looks older. I mean, you can't really say... What are you, what are you going to do, Urchin? Tell mom about me? Tell mom on me? Wow. She's not here. I don't have to do anything. You'll end up in, de in detention by the end of the week just by being you. Look at me. I'm all wet. Well, you are a witch now, right? Magic yourself dry. Come on, Luke. Donald returns to his room, followed by the other boy, who bumps into the door frame briefly on his way out of sight. V, is that you? Hey, V. All moved in? No, he can't have that voice. Ah, whatever. I'm not about voices. Are you wet? <sighs> Thanks to Donald and his new best friend. Aw, oh, poor thing. Here, let me. He holds out his hand and a gust of hot air blows, uh, blows through the corridor, melting away all uh, the droplets of water that clung to Virginia's hair. Aren't you going to introduce us? <laughs> right, guys, this is Vi William, my good brother. Oh, that's the older brother. Okay, I can see that. Virginia grabs Ellen's hand and drags her forward. And these are my new roommates, Ellen and Claire. It's a pleasure to meet you. You too. You keep an eye on V now. She's a little scamp. She'll get you into trouble. Is that your nickname? V? <laughs> no, that's just what William calls me. Which is better than what Donald's calls, uh, Donald calls me. I use my whole name. It's not that long. You kids should probably run along. Freshman orientation is tomorrow and you'll have a busy week ahead of you. Not to mention initiation. Initiation? <laughs> you'll find out. Wink, wink. I suppose he's right. We should get back to our room. 
I still have to unpack. Tomorrow we start learning magic. Hmm. This episode has been decently long so far and it's the second day. So we've made it past the first day in today's initiation. So I'm gonna call this episode tomorrow initiation. So I thank you for watching this far. And um, I, I'm not sure if I have fun with this game, but it does appear to be pretty funny, I think. So, I hope I'll see you in the next one. And until then, bye-bye.